Well, I just added some lovely soup. It was a bean soup of some kind, very fulfilling and uh, spicy. Here we're going to take a look at the ground. We've cut away in this spot. Uh, I'll show you around the spot here. We've cut away with dance floor type area. It's probably dance floor. It's a flat space in any case. And we're looking at water flows across the land. The instructive thing about this particular spot, let me show you over here, is how this is dry and this is wet. Now we've had some rains now that were drizzly. There we haven't had torrential downpours, um, but enough rain to fill the cisterns a little bit and things. Here you see roots where we cut. These are roots. Here you see something very interesting. Down here is very dry. This is what a foot and a half or so, and uh, that's how deep the water soaked in in this kind of hard dirt. This is tough stuff. It doesn't look like it's living very much. However, as far down as the roots go, and the rain's able to permeate as it's going to rain more throughout the season, you'll see mycelium like this. This is white mycelium. This is the mushroom, really. Uh, mushrooms, many people think of as these things that come out of the ground like a plant from a seed. That is untrue. Uh, mushrooms come from mycelium. It's a white, usually white, uh, networky of stuff, a fungus, and that's the actual plant. The mushroom that pops up is the fruit. So it would pop up right here <coughs> on this. Uh, anyway, the cool thing we learn here is, is how far the rains sink down in this kind of dirt. Now, in uh, more fluffy dirt, as, as we are developing here, as we're building soil, as we are uh, planting more things that dig down and have tap roots and, and uh, heal the soil by, with different kinds of diversity and also allowing the native plants to do what they do. Uh, as we're switching from pines, pines sometimes people consider make a pine desert in a way, they acidify the soil, whatever. We have oaks here, uh, those tend to acidify as well. In between those things, uh, we're planting a variety of things. And this is the soil they have to deal with. So it's a very long-term plan to take large portions of soil and, and forcibly, uh, well, whatever, uh, alter it so that <coughs> it's fluffier, uh, collecting biomass and simulating uh, the, the system of a, like an old growth forest where trees fall down and rot and then there's fungus and all this kind of stuff. Uh, if we do that long enough, this soil will not be like this. The water will be retained differently in the soil. We could even grow things like this. This is a little uh, kind of purple tomatillo. It looks really good, doesn't it? Interesting taste, makes a great salsa. Uh, these are the kind of things we can then start to grow in the forest. Uh, they're native plants. Uh, they've been enhanced through, uh, you know, uh, selection, human selection. But uh, we can grow these, <coughs> tomatoes, uh, many other things, just mixed in with the forest. If we can look at the soil and and um, improve it, this is happening most in the in the dimple garden. Uh, down there, the water collects a little bit better, and we've tossed some of the fertilizer from the rabbits and the chickens. And so we're going to be able to do both. Uh, food forest farming with native plants down there, which we're doing a little bit, and of course with the usuals that we rely on to, you know, turnips and, uh, and uh, oh my god, the list is pretty long, corn, multiple kinds of corn, cabbages, amaranth, um, a bunch of other crap. So kohlrabi we tried and didn't do perfect on, but we're going to do better. A lot of the Asian vegetables would do well here, uh, I think, and the main thing is to try them out. Also, I like the idea of growing exotics that nobody else is growing because, you know, it's a different flavor. So, anyway, we'll see what happens. We're just getting started on our planting. Well, we're not starting our planting season. We're full into our planting season. Planting season will be over within two to three weeks. Uh, we have no volunteers at the moment, which is uh, mostly good because we're not sure we're not good at managing them all the time. And uh, then we'll... We'll turn our efforts to other things other than gardening for a little bit.